What's going on, everybody? Ryan Williams here of FanDuel. You can follow me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W. And I'm here to talk about my three losers from the 2022 NFL Draft. Let's not waste any time. Let's talk about these guys. We're going to start it off with the Minnesota Vikings here. Let's give a pass maybe to first-time GM Quesse Adolfo Mensa. And I guess he just didn't get the memo. It's an unwritten rule possibly, but I thought it went out to all GMs. You don't trade within the division and you don't do it twice. I, I don't I don't understand this. They basically essentially swap picks with the Detroit Lions. They then give a gift to Green Bay, who had missed out on drafting a wide receiver in the first round with two picks that they had and allowed them to do that uh, to start off day two there in the second round. And this is a team who we really were counting on, you know, making some strong plays there, especially knowing that they had the 12th pick. They could have drafted Kyle Hamilton. They then trade with the Detroit Lions. They pick another safety uh, who's... You you know, wasn't wasn't as high on people's draft boards and who could be another world talent with Kyle Hamilton there. I just didn't understand that uh, with the aging defensive pieces they have. And then you're looking at a team, you know, on the offensive side of the ball that, you know, OK, Dal Dalvin Cook and you got Adam Thielen there and, and definitely love Justin Jefferson. But they definitely and Irv Smith, if he comes back healthy, but they definitely could have made some more impact pieces, I thought, for a team that's only won two playoff games in the plat two playoff games in the past decade. I really think thought we'd get a stronger draft from them. Let's talk about another team there who arguably had the worst draft, depending on who you've been talking to. And that's the New England Patriots, who are just too smart for their own good. Listen, they've made so so much of the Bill Belichick's career and just the Patriots way has been built on the draft and them taking chances on guys late in rounds when you're talking about bringing in a guy like James White in the fourth round, Logan Ryan in the third round, Shaq Mason in the fourth round, Ted Karras, offensive lineman in the sixth round. Um, they just haven't been able to do that recently, you know, really botching out on first round picks like a guy like Nikhil Harry um, talking about bringing in two tight ends in the third round in the 2020 draft. And then you're just making picks this year and Cole Strange, the guard, I mean, don't have to draft him with your first pick. He could have been there later. Just all these head scratching moves that they made. I, I just don't understand it. You got a guy like Mac Jones. You have a window with the rookie contract where you can get him some pieces, get him some weapons on the offensive side of the ball and they just chose not to, to do so. So really head scratching what the New England Patriots did and that's why they definitely make it on this list. Lastly, we'll talk about the Washington Commanders and the Washington Commanders, they, they had an okay draft, but again, you know, you go out and you get a guy like Carson Wentz, so you're telling me that your window to win is now. And then you go out and you get players who could be on the field ready to play and Jahan Doxson and, and Brian Robinson and Mathis, the defensive tackle there. Um, but really just not making big enough plays for me, big enough picks where they could make they could make strides uh, to really compete within the division. And it is the NFC East or least, however you say it, um, that could also be wide open. But definitely, you know, with Carson Wentz, you want to get him help on the offensive line. You want to get him some some strong weapons that that he can throw to. And maybe they're they're looking at this. Listen, they drafted Sam Howell in the fourth round, so maybe they're they're going to turn the keys over to him. But Ron Rivera and, and company, the, these guys might not be around to see the new regime of the Washington Commanders. So I was really hoping that they went out and made some more impact players, impact plays with their picks early on. But we'll see what the Washington Commanders can do for 2022. Guys, that's going to do it here for the FanDuel Hurry Up, this edition of the Losers from the NFL Draft. Guys, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel to get all of our content. We'll catch you guys next time on the FanDuel Hurry Up. Until then, peace.